Swole Benji here. Today I'm going to teach you how to get the Great Shield Talisman. The Great Shield Talisman is a perfect pairing with any kind of shield or blocking build as it, with an early game shield it will increase or I'm sorry decrease the amount of stamina that you take when you block by about 30% or so. It's really really good and in the end game it gets even better because when you have those upgraded super shields with lots of guard value on them then the talisman will allow you to take zero stamina damage when you block. It is an absolutely amazing shield, and I'm going to show you how to get it. So we're going to start today's video at the Atlas Plateau. Now, if you want to know how to get here, I have a video on my channel that explains exactly how that works, and it is it looks like this. It's called How to Access the Great Lift at the Very Start of the Game in Elden Ring. You do not need to kill any bosses. You only need to loot two items. Go in the video description of this video. Click that link if you don't know how to access the Great Lift or how to get here. And let me show you exactly where it is on the map, okay? So all you gotta do, it's uh, it's a little weird, but there's like a small village. Uh, and it's just, it's just in a chest, and it is going to be right up in here. It's not that far. So let me just make sure that I have this all lined up nice and perfect. But yeah, it's like it's like right in here. It's very very easy to get to. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry, it's not right there. It's it's a little bit further up. It's it's actually right there. Yep, right about there. And uh, yep, maybe maybe we're about right there. It, it's it's somewhere. I'm I'm just gonna put down a marker and we're gonna find it together. It's like right there. So let's follow that marker. We're going to go north, and we're going to go down this little chasm. Now, after I get the talisman, I'm going to show off its power so that you can see for yourself if you want to get this item or not, or if you want to skip this one. But essentially, we're just going to ride right down here into this little encampment, and um, it is, it's actually right here, right beneath me. So, hopefully this doesn't kill me, and it took some damage, but it's fine. And it sh it's, it's either in this one or that one that's a little bit further over there. So, I believe this is it. Great Shield Talisman. There it is. I was a little bit off, so <laughs> here it is on the map. I'm going to mark it right exactly where I'm at, teleport back to the uh, plateau so that you can see exactly what the notches look like on the map for yourself. Alright, so yes, right here, like like the way I see it is you got this little hump, this little, uh, this little bulge here on the map, and then it's like up and to the left. Very easy to find, very simple. Once again, we're just gonna ride like to this first notch to the right of north. That seems to be the best way to do it. All right, you can kill these eagles if you want some maybe four foots or whatever I missed. Uh, sorry eagles, maybe next time. Um, I have a video that I'm gonna make about farming eagles at some point. But yeah, it's right down there and um, that fall might be a bit dangerous, but I'm sure you can fall more safely like on these uh, nice soft cushy rocks here. And I missed them, so I still took full damage anyway. But you get the point, right? It's right here. Um, yeah. If you're wondering what's in this one, I believe it's the the mace that heals you when you swing. I think, if I memory serves me correctly, or the troll sword. I think it's the troll sword actually. So let me just pick. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's the troll's golden sword. It's an alright weapon. It's fine. So let me show you now how this talisman affects your blocking and why you would want to get it in the first place. Okay. Because it is pretty darn good. It is, is very, very good. Alright, and um, I did make a video on um, the Green Turtle Talisman, uh, which I have on right now. So I'm going to put, I'm, I'm actually not going to put it on because I'm going to show you the stamina damage that I take from this giant, from this troll, okay? Uh, apparently this is what a troll looks like. I mean, I don't look like that in real life, guys. I wish I was that big, but sadly, I'm, uh, I'm just a human. And let's kill his little henchmen's. Okay, so now we're gonna block a few hits from the troll here. He's gonna do his big swing. Look how much stamina damage those two slaps took. I'm just gonna run forward and dodge that one, okay? Because I'm out of stamina. Now we're gonna put on Talisman. Here we go. And we're gonna start blocking the slaps. Now, that was a bigger hit than the slaps, okay? So it did take a decent amount of stamina, but boink! Look at that. Look how much less we're taking from the slaps. We, he didn't even knock us down to half, okay? It is, uh, it's absolutely good. Now, this is an unupgraded shield. I'm gonna tell you right now, if I had put points into this shield, because, like I said, it is just a flat tower shield with 67 guard boost. If I upgraded this bad boy to at least plus 12, which is what I have currently, and I have guides on my channel on how to upgrade every single thing in your inventory to plus 12 without having to go farm for smithing stones, 
Um, I'm not going to link that in the description. You can dig through my channel if you want to see it. Or start, look up my other videos. They're, they're all very informative, guys. Anyway, you definitely want to get this shield. It pairs well, and it scales the entire way through the game. Once you reach in-game with those in-game shields, highly upgraded shields, it will block even more stamina damage for you. This thing is top-notch. You don't want to miss this if you happen to use a shield. It is it is almost mandatory for shield users. Anyway, guys, I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay soul. I appreciate you watching so much. Leave a like, leave a comment, comment on someone else's comment, have a discussion amongst each other. Don't just talk to me. And also, if you are financially stable, please become a channel member. It is $5 a month. The button to join is right below this video. Uh, think of it like a Twitch subscriber thing. It's basically YouTube's version of, of Twitch subs. Five bucks a month, you get access to private videos, more personal videos, and if I'm playing like an MMORPG and I have a nice market strategy or an exploit or dupe method, I'm not going to release that to the public. I'm going to release it to the channel members only. And if I get enough channel members, I will definitely release some very juicy videos on there just for members only as a thanks to anyone who supports me. Guys, go check out my other videos. I make videos every single day here on the Soul Binge channel, so you make sure you, you, you're subscribed so you don't miss any of them. And come back tomorrow for another Elden Ring video. Take care.